I found today's project for free in an alley, and I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I should have left it there. Well, sometimes I have a hard time passing up free stuff. Even if it's in really bad shape, like this dresser is, I think this had been out in the rain and it's got some water damage. The veneer is peeling up in places. The veneer is also coming up in that bottom corner there. And there's a big piece missing here. And it's uh, not marked. There's no brand name on it, no maker. Uh, but there is a date in the back, stamped on the back panel. It says 1962. I kind of like the white laminate top and the white handle. Usually if something has a laminate top, I replace it with wood veneer, but this is in pretty good shape and uh, I kind of like the white, so I think I'm going to keep it. I think to fix this, I'll glue it back down with some epoxy. Um, but I'll do this layer first, and then I'll glue this down. I think that'll be easier to do one at a time. I noticed something interesting about these drawers. Uh, if you look at the back of the drawer front, it looks to me like it's pine and multiple pieces of pine. There's one, two, three. And then you can follow that seam between the pieces around the edge. Here's the seam between the two pieces and you can kind of see it here. It's more visible here in the center. You can see the difference between the color. But the interesting thing is that the grain is continuous between the multiple pieces. And this isn't a veneer. Here you can see how this grain line just flows between the two different pieces. So I'm wondering if maybe this grain is fake grain and it's just painted on. I'm going to strip off this finish and see what happens. See if the grain comes off with the finish or not. Well, I've got all the finish off the drawer front, and yes, the grain was fake, although you can still faintly see some on there. Whatever they used for that was uh, pretty resilient, and uh, there's still a bunch on there. But now I'm really wondering if I should have left this in the alley. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I guess first thing is to remove the finish from the rest of the drawers. One more thing to note about these drawers is that they don't use dovetail joints, which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, I think sometimes people make too much out of dovetail joints on drawers. I've seen plenty of pieces of poorly constructed furniture and really well constructed furniture with dovetail joints. It doesn't really indicate quality. On a mid-century piece, it's not like they're hand-cut dovetails anyway. They're just made with a machine in a factory. So no dovetails here, and it's perfectly strong joint. It's in great shape. It's not loose or anything. And in the back corner of the drawers, it uses box joints, which are also perfectly fine by me, and the ones on here are still strong. Looks like my epoxy glue-ups worked. And it's a good thing that I didn't glue down this veneer yet because I've decided to re-veneer the whole thing. Since the drawer fronts are just pine and not very attractive and in bad shape and the grain was just painted on, wasn't real, I thought about it and I think the best way to go is to just uh, put some new veneer on everything. So 
before I do that, I want to take this veneer off since it's so loose. I got all the veneer off and then I filled any low spots with wood filler and then sealed it with shellac. And now I'm ready to apply the veneer. And I got this veneer pretty cheap in a thrift store. So that's why I'm using it instead of buying a new veneer because veneer is not generally cheap if you buy it new. So now I'm just gonna apply some contact cement and get this on. Whenever I use paper back veneer, I always seem to get this uh, backing kind of making a mess. I think this is the paper backing on the edge. And you can't really sand it off because it's kind of gummy. So usually I'll go over it with chisel like this or maybe a utility knife blade and get it off like that. It's kind of tedious, but Eventually, it'll come off. Before I veneer this drawer, I'm gonna take this off just to make it a little easier. So I've got the veneer on the sides of the dresser 
and now I need to put it on the drawer fronts. And I was a little bit worried about this angled edge here. I wasn't sure if the veneer would go over it, but it appears that it's going to go over it really easily. Um, I was afraid the grain might crack or something, but it doesn't look like it's going to do that. So uh, I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. had a little mishap with the router on this drawer front here. It dug into the edge. Um, I hate routers, by the way, but sometimes it's the best tool for the job or one of the best tools for the job if you use it correctly. But here, the wood gets really thin on the drawer and um, the bearing on the bit had nothing to ride against, so it dug into the wood there. Just a little bit. Uh, could be worse. So I think I'm going to fix that just by filling it with some hard fill stick. I think that should look pretty good. This one should be a pretty good match. Well, that didn't work so well. So I'll try it without the little dam there. <laughs> Trying to reuse the stuff that is stuck to this blade. almost there. Just needs a tiny bit more on the edge. Well, I just got a brilliant idea. I should turn this over so that gravity is helping me rather than not helping me. Okay, so this should work better. Just need to build it up just a little bit more on the bottom here. good. No one will ever know it's there unless they watch this video. So there's a slight problem with the veneer. I was stripping the front edge of the dresser and in the process some water got on the side onto the new veneer and in some spots it turned it a little bit black. That's a problem because up till now my plan was to keep the veneer light and either not stain it at all or stain it a really light color. So of course I can't do that if it's got some black in it. So 
I'm going to try some oxalic acid over the veneer, see if that gets rid of the black. And if it does, great. If not, then I guess I'll have to change plants, go with a dark stain, or maybe even ebonize the whole thing, just turn the whole thing black. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try the oxalic acid and hopefully that works. Okay, so it's not even fully dry yet, but I can already tell that the oxalic acid worked. The black spots are gone. So, it's good. I decided to put veneer on these exposed pine surfaces. I just think it's gonna help uh, tie everything together. It's gonna make it easier to make it all look cohesive. And I have enough veneer left to do it. Just trying to wipe away the remnants of the uh, glue that sometimes squeezes out the edge. I'm using naphtha. Seems to work pretty well. I've decided for the finish, I'm gonna do a gel stain. I could have left this veneer natural and it would have looked fine, um, but I decided to have a little fun with this one. And the stain I'm using is actually a white gel stain. And uh, my plan, is to wipe it on, wipe off the excess, and then take a paper towel that has some mineral spirits on it and wipe off even more. So it hopefully will be just kind of a subtle white color. You'll still be able to see the grain pretty well. So hopefully that works. Okay, now the mineral spirits. Okay, I think that worked out. It's probably very subtle in the camera. Here you can see the difference between the one with the gel stain and one that I haven't stained yet. And again, it's subtle, but I like it.
And now I can put the clear coat on, which is going to be a clear satin lacquer. The lacquer is dried overnight and looks great, but it feels a little bit fuzzy. So I'm going to go over it with some brown paper shopping bag. Just kind of crumpled it up and go over it gently. And this usually does a good job of taking care of just light fuzziness or grittiness. And it's pretty safe to use. You can see a little bit of the white lacquer dust on there. And that actually worked great. Sometimes you may need something a little more aggressive like steel wool, something like that, but a lot of times that works perfect. It's always a good idea to check stuff like this corner block, which is just barely hanging on. Probably Yep, just pull it off. So I'm gonna glue that back on. I'm gonna try and clean off the old glue. It's not really much left there. I got some new glue on there and it's just kind of sticking there by itself, but um, I would like to clamp it, although there's really no easy way to clamp it, so I'm just going to try driving a nail or two in there. Got some glue squeeze out when I did that, so I think it's a pretty good fit. When I first got this dresser, it had both of these drawer pulls on it, on the same drawer, on the top drawer. I was going to clean this one up, paint it, and put it back on with this one, but then I realized why. I don't need two drawer pulls on the same drawer. So I'm going to not put that one back on. I'm just going to put this one on. So I'm going to clean this up and put it back on. I don't think I'm going to put gel stain on it. Um, I'll try just leaving it natural and see how that looks. Well, I changed my mind. I am going to try the gel stain on this. If I don't like it, I can always take it off. It's the next day after I applied the gel stain on this drawer pull, and it looked a little too white to me today. And also it was uh, so thick on there that it still hadn't really dried. So I wiped off a lot of it with some mineral spirits and just left a little bit of it, just kind of like I did on the rest of the dresser. And I think that looks good. I'm going to put this on. It just screws on. And I need to open up the screw holes on the veneer side so I can get those screws in. All right, so I think this is the last thing I have to do before I can wrap this up. And um, I want to try to clean up this top. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's not too bad, but I have this compound lying around and this, and I'm just wondering if maybe it will help clean it a bit. It might not do anything, but I don't think it'll hurt it. This stuff is pretty tough. So I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, so um, doesn't look worse, so that's a good thing. 
It may have helped a little bit. It does feel smoother, but didn't hurt. Okay, so now I think I can just put it all back together and be done. So you may have noticed I left this pine section unstained, and I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think I kind of like the just a little bit sticking out there, a little bit of a contrast. It's not going to show as much down here. Uh, probably will just be just a hint of it, but I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that for now and see how it looks. And here it is, all finished. Thanks for watching.